What's up guys, Josh from Extreme Truck and Auto. I was actually going through all my video footage last night of my HK Glissade install. And unfortunately, the first half was shot in time warp on my GoPro. So what I'm gonna turn this video into is a supplemental video to HK Off-Roads video. So if you wanna hop over there and watch that and then come back and check out this video, you're more than welcome. I'll post it down in the description below. But if not, I cover most of the stuff beyond where you cut at. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna change the order of the operation. So as you can tell, I have already started removing all the foam. I got the rocker cut off. I need to cut this little section out of it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hammer this little lip right here that's left over. As you can tell, I cut it a little bit closer. We're gonna hammer that up against the body and then we're gonna get in there and we're gonna hammer back all the portions that Bash tells us to. After we do all that hammering, we're gonna fold that pinch under. I'll get some footage of me doing all that and then once when I get that taken care of, I'll come grab the camera and we'll move on to the next step. Now that I have all that hammered the way I want to, I'm gonna grab my pliers and I'm gonna start bending this pinch well. Now I'm only gonna get it started because I'm gonna use the hammer to finish up the pinch well to fold it under. It just makes it a little bit easier than using the pliers the entire way. The pinch weld's all tucked. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit here with the pliers and I'm gonna bend this all the way down flat like I want it, all the way down this pinch weld. Now I got a little bit of rust here, just kinda is what it is at this point. We're just gonna keep working this pinch all the way down until we get to here. So here's where I changed the order of operation. So in the video that HK has, they say you want to center that strap piece that runs along here, but what center? So what I did and what I thought was a little bit easier was I go ahead and cut out at the measurements. Um, one thing I did notice is that the second set of measurements, it says 31 and 35. What you need to do is like 31 and 33 and a half, and then you'll be able to get that center support in there. So it's 11. 13 and it's all measured from the rear then 31 33 and a half 56 and 58 we're gonna take our saws off and we're gonna cut up once when i get that all cut up i'll show you kind of how we're gonna bend everything out of our way now that we got our cuts made and our weight reduction taken care of what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to where the cuts are and we're gonna hammer these back and up in there like so i'm gonna have to cut this a little bit higher but we're gonna do that on every single one of these as you can see we got our little notches cut out for the frame supports right here i got mine taped off because i'm gonna be spraying mine with headliner tomorrow i am gonna end up putting it onto jack stands and jacking it up into position and that's kind of where i'll show you guys once when i do that where we're gonna place that strap piece this thing on the body rock slider the glissade hoisted up into position now if you notice the strap is going to be the same length as this part right here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to very carefully mark right where i'm needing that strap to go so that way i know exactly where to position that thing now I'm gonna drop the slider down, put that strap into position, we'll drill our, all of our holes, we'll hoist it back up, and then you're just about done. After you use the strap, what I did was I used the strap holes. Once when I marked right here, 
I used the strap holes and just drilled through as opposed to marking them and doing all that. That way you have your guide right where you need it, just using that strap as a guide. Then all you do is run your 10 millimeter bolts up through. Once you're done with that, I'm gonna wait to do this on mine till tomorrow. You'll run the self tappers into the frame here. And what that does is that'll shore everything up and then you'll be good to go. You guys, that's it when it comes to the install of the glissades. It's pretty simple. Like I said, I do change a few order the operations to make things a little bit easier. If you guys do have questions, post them in the comment down below and I will get to them as soon as I can. If not, I will catch you guys on the next one.